On the side of the road, I got a blown out trailer tire I'm waiting on a trailer. Road call, got that stupid interlinked air thing that goes uh, from one tire to the other, so it's blowing out air all over the place. So I thought I'd do something while I'm sitting here on the side of the road. All right, there's the windshield wiper. This is the stud that comes out of the windshield wiper engine. The engine, the motor, which you like. This is what rotates. All right, this has got two flat sides, so it's kind of squared off. All right, this is the part that goes on that stud. This spring loaded hole right here. What you got is my threads are stripped out, so it doesn't hold. I have to get a die kit. Well, when I get down to Orlando, I have to die this off and re-thread it. Put a different nut on it. Those threads are straight. And uh, what you got is all off the truck somewhere. Well, let me find that and I'll get back to it. All right, I found it. Fucking left it on the door. On the floor next to the door when I was getting to it. All right, I got it right here. This is this is the little gear piece, all right? And as you see, it's flattened out like that, all right? Now, what happens with this is you put this on here, and it won't turn. It goes on the stud and it, it, it rotates with this stud. This stud rotates and it rotates the windshield wiper. All right? So all you do is you push that on there all the way. Okay? Someone drilled a hole in this before I bought the truck and they put, <laughs> they put a cotter key in there to keep the windshield <laughs> wiper on there because the threads are, are stripped out and you can't put a nut on there dumbasses you gotta fix something fix it fucking right so anyway i gotta go get a, a die set re-thread that and then put it back together and what happens is uh, the windshield wiper is fucking insane this will go in here and if you look in here let's see if we can get it you look in there, it's geared inside the windshield wiper arm, okay? So those gears match up to these gears. And that's what locks it on. To take it off, just pull it off. That's all you do. Pry it off, pull it off, whatever, all right? And that keeps, that's how you position it too, okay? So you're gonna put this on here. You're gonna open your, your windshield wipers to whatever position you want. You know, if you get them all the way open, get them all the way open, and then, okay, once you get, like, uh, once you turn the, the motor on, you get them all the way open, all the way to the outside, you know, just push it on there, that stud will go through that hole, and the gears will lock in there, you might be able to get a better shot of those gears right there. Oh, these windshield wiper arms cost a fucking fortune, man. These things cost like 150 bucks. So if you lose one, that's 150 bucks. I know because my last one fell off and flew down the road and I never got it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and re-thread that down in Orlando. And I'm going to put this back together and I'll show you what it looks like. But see, I got one windshield wiper there now. So the next one I'll position right here. I'll probably open it up. I like to position it on this side rather than this side because for some reason if you position it on this side and then you start it up it always goes further so you wind up with crisscrossed windshield wipers so try and position it on the outside and then let it sweep to the inside but I'm going to take this off right now I'm going to take the whole arm off and uh, just leave it that way for now because I don't need it it's the passenger side, so I'm not worried. 
But I'll go ahead and fix that and I'll show it to you when I get down the road. Alright, so before I told you I was going to work on the windshield wiper and I ran into a problem. Alright, some numbskull drilled a hole through here before I bought the truck and stuck a cotter pin in there to hold the windshield wiper arm on. Well, the threads were stripped out. Instead of dying it out and re-threading it, he drilled a hole in it. He, she, I don't know, it could have been a woman. Anyway, some numb skull drilled a hole through it to put a cotter pin in it. Well, the cotter pin doesn't tighten down the arm, which in turn strips out the gears inside the arm. The gears held on by these gears. This goes on here, the arm goes around the gears, and it holds the arm in place. Well, when I started re-threading it, I went down to an eight millimeter, three ace was too big, which is the original size. When you, you re-thread something, you're gonna have to go down a size. 10 millimeter was too big and nine millimeter was too big. It was actually stripped out pretty good. So I wound up going all the way down to an eight. Well, it broke it off because there was a hole drilled through it. So all that tension on the, on the torque twisted the stud right off. So now I'm stuck with a stud. Now here's the problem. Kenworth does not sell just this one piece. There is one piece that has this stud in it. And nobody sells just that one part. You have to buy the entire assembly for $1,800 new. I'm sure I could get one used somewhere, but I don't have time right now. So what I've done, since the stud is no good, and the arm is stripped out, I'm going to need a new arm, and I'm going to need a new stud, regardless. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take this, now I've cleaned this up real good, and I've cleaned my, my gear ring up real good, and I've cleaned the inside of the arm up real good, and I am going to take resin and uh damn <laughs> i can't remember. my mind just took a fucking shit <laughs> i'm gonna take glue basically bondo not bondo uh, shit, whatever i'm gonna take it and put it on here i'm gonna glue this to this and then i'm gonna take the arm and i'm gonna glue it onto this in the position that it needs to be We'll see if it works. It's gotta hold me out until I get home because there's a junkyard down the, down the street from my house that will have all this that I can get it. Or I can buy it and you know I'll be at the house so I'll be able to put it all together. But uh, let me put it together and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I applied the box to the purposely positioned it more to the outside of the windshield than to the inside since the stud is no good and the arm is no good and I had to glue it it's got to stay in a permanent spot so my intention of positioning it more to the outside than the inside is so that it doesn't cross over to the inside See how long that holds on. That's a pretty good sweep right there. 
Not bad. Almost to the inside. Almost to the outside. Right centered up. Looks pretty good. Well, we'll see how well it holds up when we get out into the, the snow and everything. Well, it's a temporary fix until I can buy the whole assembly and have some time at home to be able to put it all together. There's a bunch of C-clips and small parts and things that come off of that assembly, so I'm not going to do it out here in the parking lot. Also, um, at the beginning of this video, at the beginning of this whole thing, I said something about a blow tire. Um, that's when I first started working on it. Yeah, I blew a tire. I had a, a car, a four-wheeler that was riding on my back tail and uh, I blew a tire and it, they hit it and ran off the road into a tree. Uh, I ran back to check on them and make sure that they were okay and everything. No citations were issued, no fault. It was a single, single vehicle crash. At the moment I just didn't think it was proper to videotape. So I didn't take any pictures or anything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you know that's the dangers of uh, riding behind a, a truck. You know that tire blew, and I, I checked it. I felt it when it blew, and I looked out the mirror. And when I looked out the mirror, I saw them swerve to the left and then swing to the right, slam right into a tree. So that's uh, you know that's. One of the one of the big things I, I have a problem with lingering people lingering around my truck. You never know what's going to go wrong. Like I say, I didn't think it was proper to go back there with a camera and videotape. So. Anyway, we got the windshield wiper fixed. It's been a good good couple days. Windshield wiper fixed, new batteries. Uh, put some sea foam in the filters for the injectors. Uh, fixed the. Uh, Rear diff temp sensor. I, I didn't show you how to do that. That's pretty easy. There's a, a sensor on the bottom of the differential, on the bottom of the pumpkin there that uh, has two wires coming out of it. That's your temp sensor. And uh, I also tore apart the front lighting to fix the marker light. So it's been a good weekend. It's been a good couple days. Anyway, I hope you find it interesting.